I'm going to install a new hard drive 640 gig uh, Samsung 2.5 inch into MacBook laptop because the hard drive it comes with this MacBook is faulty and it's about three years old uh, this laptop so we're going to go through the process of installing uh, this new hard drive and also the software involved to complete uh, the full installation. So this is the new hard drive I'm going to install from Samsung. It's 640 gig, 2.5 inch. That's the operating system uh, CD. It comes with the laptop and then install the software drivers uh, and application and also we will install the office format. Removing the hard drive so we'll just take the screws there's three screws here so I'm going to remove them we open the latch so that's the battery is out now we remove the hard drive power and data cable attached to it and now we have this four screws in both the right and the left side we have to take this and put it into the a new hard drive so we can mount the hard drive inside the computer Okay, so that's removed. We're going to use this new hard drive. and just put the screws four screws back to the a new hard drive so we can mount it inside the laptop now we put the hard drive back So that's ready to mount back to its original position. Now we put the battery back. So the battery is back and now the cover. I'm turning on the computer now. And insert the CD. So this is the first time after I installed the hard drive I turn the computer on and leave the CD inside so it will start reading the CD to install the operating system English for the main language in our case here now it will start preparing for the installation as you see the welcome Mac OS screen so before we click continue we go to at the top utilities 
disk utilities to see the hard drive uh, Samsung we installed so we need to select this volume to tell the software the hard drive we need to install so I click partition now as you see there is no partition so this hard drive is still not yet used so we need to partition the hard drive in order to install the software so I select one partition and then I just type a name for this partition so I put Mac OS so the entire hard drive will be partitioned as one partition it has the operating system and programs you can do two partitions um, if you like to do that and you divide the 640 uh, to two partitions if you like you can do any uh, things you like but I'm going to use only one partition I click apply so we get this message to confirm so as, as you see we have here the partition is done so we finish from here so I can close this screen now and I come back to welcome screen so I can proceed from here continue I agree with the terms and conditions now it will prompt to select the destination which is the partition I create so I select continue and then install so now it's installing the hard drive this will take approximate depends on the speed of the computer processor and actually the memory 40 to 50 minutes to complete so it's continuing to complete the installing the operating system into the hard drive you will need to continue and install this um, application uh, disk driver and once you finish that then you can um, start install the office uh, software so it's actually it's a straightforward it's just a continuation of finishing this you maybe you will have to spend about two to three hours to complete the full installation once it's completed then you can start the computer as normal we are almost there about four minutes to finish the installation now so as you see it's uh, finished the installation congratulations you have installed Mac OS on your computer so I proceed from here continue so it's installed successful and now we'll start the computer we choose Australia
continue keyboard is US so because I'm not doing transferring files at this stage so I'm going to continue without doing anything um, but basically as you see on the screen if you're going to transfer um, from other computers then you follow the instruction it comes on the screen So continue now prompt to enter the password for the security the wireless security encryption And from here, we just continue and put the details, the ID, etc. So as you see, everything went uh, fine, no any problem. So the next step is I'm going to install the application and software drivers. So that's all. Thank you for watching.